Busy people and lots of alleys, Worcester hipsters and fat up townies. We have more than pizza in common, with two rocks for bookends. New Haven, New Haven, New Haven, between two rocks. And welcome back to the Team Two Rocks podcast. I'm your host, Josh Levinson. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Uh, I am here this week with the man of a thousand podcasts, Sean Murray. Yeah. Yeah. You are the busiest man in New Haven podcasting. And the brokest. And the brokest. It's, it's, it's amazing how those things. Probably, yeah. I'm like trying yeah. to think who else. Yeah. yeah. If it's just the two of us, then yeah, yeah, probably, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You have so many. The Too Sean many. Murray International Film Festival. Correct. Uh, nobody asked Sean. Correct. Or is there more? Should be. There's, yeah. <laughs> and you have a real job now. Yeah. So like, it's, I mean, not to take anything away. Job. Well, right. I don't want to take anything away. I just like, I know the International Film Festival is a thing, but it's not like a no, I'm, yearly. You know, I'm, I'm not even saying that. I'm saying like, even my real job, I wouldn't consider a real job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you sit around in a truck with a bunch of rednecks. Yeah, it's and fun. Deliver appliances it's fun to, uh, to rich people. See the other side of things. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not exposed to enough. Uh, Are you exposed to a lot of Blue Lives Matter stickers? Yes. It's, it's literally a, one of my coworkers like has like a um, like a like thin blue line yeah. hat like the you know like the, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he just like confronts me with it every day. And yeah. Like I can't. Like I need him to hold up his other end of the appliance <laughs> and not drop it on me, so I can't really like confront him about. Yeah, yeah, the hat, yeah. You know what I mean? Does he know that you're black? I don't think so. I don't okay, think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't explains think he's, the he's, tension. He's come up, yeah, it hasn't come up yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe he's wearing sunglasses. It's not Kind of like Sonny trying to slowly dole out the information about my yeah, uh, yeah. my race to him. So how's the, uh, are you doing your podcast every week still? Uh, most weeks. No, I do. Nobody asked Sean every week. I've <laughs> only, I missed one week of um, International, International Film, Film Festival. Festival because uh, I just did. <laughs> I just, nice. I couldn't get a guest. Okay, yeah. Last I minute. definitely wouldn't be on it, so that's good. No, you're going to be on it, whether you like it or not. <laughs> We've been talking about Dark City for a while, but it's never going to come up. So No, it's going to come up because... Uh, Everybody's going to make fun of me for how bad it is, just like Strange Days all over again. <laughs> We're going to do Strange Days, too, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah, that's a movie that maybe hasn't aged as well. A reappraisal. I literally never finished. I was just mad... At it, and then I stopped. It, but it's not said it was good, so I was like, you know what? Maybe it was good. I don't <laughs> trust Josh, but I do trust. <laughs> That's not fair. All right, that's well, our dynamic. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I wouldn't trust me either. Yeah, you know. Look at yourself. I assume it. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> assume this is an anti-Semitic thing. You know what I mean? So, I'm not gonna say it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> perfect. All right. Well, then we <laughs> exposed you, and it's perfect. So yeah. I think we're good to go. Uh, cool. And you've been working a lot of doing a lot of comedy lately. Yeah, comedy's back. Comedy's back. You've yeah. been getting booked a lot. That's great. Yeah. Not as much as Mo, but you know. Well, no one. Yeah. Who's, who yeah. is? No, I mean, are you willing to drive to Vermont? Never. Yeah, so there you never go. drive to Vermont. <laughs> right. For leisure, for business. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to Vermont? No. Okay. I just told you I would never drive. to Well, Vermont. I don't know. It could have been like a expression. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never been. I would like to go, but yeah. I wouldn't do it for like. A twenty-minute spot. No, where I yeah. got paid. Burlington's a cool town. Dollars. Yeah, or whatever. I like Burlington a lot. Very yeah. hippie, very crunchy town near UVM. Crunchy, I like that. Yeah, that's it's very. If you were there, you'd be like, all right, yeah, that makes sense. Sort yeah. of a weird hippie slash nature vibe. So anyway, let's introduce our guests. They don't have to watch us talk for, for much go. longer. <laughs> they're just staring, trying to read the room. They're very. They're like, they're concerned about how this is gonna <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> I like that though. I wouldn't like I, like I said I wouldn't trust you either. You know what I mean? So I feel they like have the same vibe as me. So I like them. It's yeah. unfair. It's not fair. Yeah. Anyway, I'm very trustworthy. All right. So my guests are the co-owners, is that yep. right? Of the Hive Hair Studio, uh, which you may know as the premier hair cutting salon of New Haven. Let's say. I'll say it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll sounds, say it. That Hell sounds yeah. about right. All right. Or one of. One of. No, no, no. No, fuck that. The, <laughs> I we mean, I can confidence. think of another one. Put yeah, confidence behind that. We are the. The. Yes. the. So, Jenna Volano, you're on my left. Yep. And Dan Lyon. Correct. On my right, with your airy voice. That's right. <laughs> you got a very NPR <laughs> he voice. He delivered it. <laughs> yeah. Crushingly. Good yeah. Morning. Yeah, hell yeah. 
We had a right. uh, we had Volksgeist on last time, and that dude has like a incredibly sexy voice for such a frail young man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not so frail, I'm Jenna sorry. and Dan, yeah, yeah, you seem solidly, Rugged. yeah, you seem like if we were in a tackle football game, you'd be tough to take down. Nice, yeah, it's like a compliment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you took it that way. Um, yeah, so you guys co-own Hive. How long have you been open for? Um, so we've been open for. Eight eight years since seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yep. And Roughly. then yep. Who's keeping track? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. At what point do you stop doing half years? Like after ten? I don't know. I it's guess like after kid, ten. Yeah. Like when, you yeah. Like, once you like like yeah. thirteen is like okay, we don't do half anymore. I'm yeah. I'm officially thirteen. Th- exactly. So, and then I'll be fourteen. I'm but never, then like never have. by then yeah. we don't probably want to like say how long we've been open because that just makes us seem old, right? Yeah. Or but needy. Also, or need, needy. But, but no, but needy. Then, Celebrate some point, us. Some point being open for a long time is good, though. You might make you oh, seem totally. old, but also like, okay, like that's a reputable business. Yeah, yeah. You know sure. I mean? All right, Pepe's yes. has been open for almost 100 years. You're like, oh, that's great. Yeah, you so, know? but the original owners are dead. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. They're dead. We're not, we don't, I don't think Frank's back there. I mean, hopefully no. someday Maybe you'll be ashes. dead, but Hive will still be open. <laughs> You think his ashes are no, in the not. brick oven? They think <laughs> that Frank Pepe's ashes are mixing Can in with you the pizza. Can you order some <laughs> That's ashes. weird because... <laughs> you think he was like cremated? Yeah. That's weird because every time I go, what the best part is all I the would, carcinogenic <laughs> ash all over your lips. That's just how you know you're having a good time. Just yeah. a little bit so of Frank in every bite. <laughs> if I owned a pizza place, I would definitely <laughs> get cremated in my own brick oven. Are you yeah, saying? for sure. Yeah. It would take a long time, but... The ultimate insult would be cremated into Sally's oven. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, vengeance birth. Which New Haven pizza oven would you like to be cremated in? The hottest one. Modern, yeah, obviously. I would say bar, just because, like, I like the atmosphere at bar. Like, it's the light here. It's the coolest. Yeah, people would be, like, watching, you know what I mean? I'm going to go with Zunelli's. Okay. Wow. Oh, she likes a clean new. I uh, like one. a new one. It's clean. Also gets up to like 700 degrees. Like I'm there, and Pretty it's sure gold. They all do. And it's gold. And it's gold. Right. Yeah. And that's important. I want to yeah. try it in true um, brick. I don't want to. Yeah. Do, yeah. I want to try an experiment. Yeah. Well, do you want coal or do you want oil? Because isn't modern oil? Mm. I want to be cremated in modern, and then I want the whole place to burn down by accident. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's <laughs> really greedy of you. <laughs> yeah, it's very selfish. Yeah. I'm sure they've made a great you, living, but that just seems I'm, wrong. I'm the oldest child. That's just my nature. Mm. I'm a selfish person. <laughs> like, I despise my, sh- my siblings for having been born. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of mommy issues. <laughs> <laughs> I know who wasn't. Please loved don't mommy. open. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> open. Yeah, yeah, I try not to ruin the podcast before we are ten minutes in. <laughs> so I want to just gloss right over that. Okay, so uh, how did you? How did this all come about? Like, what did you? Well, did you two know each other already? We have known each other for a very long time. We've worked together eight for eight and a half years. 13, <laughs> right. Like thirteen, probably like fourteen. How many years yeah, now? Probably. Like, and Jenna, years. what are you like? Eighteen. Oh my god, I love you. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I are you my new mom? <laughs> <laughs> She's pregnant for the record. Yes, I my don't second care. with my second child. Wow. Um, yes, so nice. um, so you were on sixteen and pregnant then? <laughs> yes, <laughs> twice. No. Is that what it was called? <laughs> yes, that was a great show. <laughs> was it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, um, so we've known it. each other. For, yes, you have. I've never seen that show. Sixteen and pregnant? No. Oh my god, it's. I mean, sort of about, I, mean, you've, I joke if you've about it. You've heard of it. You've seen you've, it. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's exactly what it sounds like. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like a like. Oh, like how? It's actually like, yeah. kind of a film noir. Yeah, like, uh, it's, it's about a documentary the ad piece. in the fifties. <laughs> um. So yeah, we yeah. met like fourteen years ago at a, yeah. a salon we used to work at. I mean, she was young. What, what salon? Twenty one. I, I was twenty one when I started there. Want, can you say? I can't. We can't do that. Really. I don't want to. You know, it's just downtown. It's downtown. It was a new haven. Somewhere here. Oh yeah, we. And it's still open. Yes. All right. I'm going to start naming them. And you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. I would just be more impressed that you would have a list of all the salons. Like, I would definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you, you can't I do that. I would stop after know, one. <laughs> if you bring up a story of the past, it's more fun if you don't know. Okay. Yeah. And there's yeah, a lot of all stories. The, all the Josh heads, all your fans out there could just uh, Drop investigate. Yeah. Well, right. no, but I mean, like, if you know us, you, like, you know, you know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> Josh heads. <laughs> Josh heads. That would be the worst. <laughs> The Eleven Sons. Eleven fans. All right, yeah. There's nothing. Eleven Sons. The Eleven Sons. Like the ah, sons. Ah, I got Levinson. nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we started downtown together at a salon, both employees. Okay. I always joked about, you know, starting this your sucks. Own. Let's open our own place. Yeah. yeah. T- so the place you worked met. at sucks. <laughs> how we met. We were arch enemies. <laughs> I needed a kidney. She happened to be a uh, a perfect match. So yeah. There we are. Is that made up? What do you think? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, Damn, yo, that'd be mad cool. It we, would be uh, cool. We, we were around. actually, you know, after actually with my first day working, we yeah. went out to ice cream at, at Ashley's. Yeah. And we were sitting there. So it's close to Ashley's. It's close to Ashley's. Okay. So, uh, everything uh, it so everything in New Haven is close so, to Ashley's. Yeah. Yeah. So we were sitting there, you know, <laughs> we were eating our ice cream, and this uh, this woman was parallel parking, and she was doing such a shit job. Yeah. And just going, and we just were looking at her, and I think we both just started like ripping on her for like five minutes. And then I think we just realized we we're both really broken people inside. Nice. And that we are, this is like a perfect. And that's a business model. That's a you perfect business yeah, model like, right there. I thought you were to say, like, and it turned out she was our number one investor in our bit. Like, <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't go that way. And then my mom way. came in to pay for our. Yeah. <laughs> and then we robbed her. Yeah. yeah. Nothing uh, like blowing out someone else's candle to make yours burn brighter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was, we're huge fans yeah, of tearing yeah. other people down. Yeah. That's how I really like, I don't think people can be happy, but I think that if I make everyone around me unhappy enough, that'll be kind of the same thing. Yeah. You know? She was struggling in the park, and that woman was Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> that woman was president for one hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, cool. So you were like, all right, well, we kind of want to do our own thing here. You were fast friends. Yes. Were you yes. ever nemeses? But no, you were no, no, right. always, never. Friends. always friends. Always friends. Hit it off. Even right. within the friendship, never nemeses. <clears throat> no. No, I Damn. can't. I'm always enemies with my friends. No. Yeah, it point. is true. He does mistreat That's because you treat badly. your friends like family. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's my, yeah, that's my flaw. I should treat them just like friends. It would never be. <laughs> It'd be good. Yeah. Um, that friends. actually, that whole like kidney thing reminds me. I was driving on the highway once and I saw this pickup truck. Yep. I saw this pickup truck and it was like, need a kidney, call like a 203 number. And I was just like, imagine if you lost a kidney because you saw a truck on a highway once. <laughs> You're like, yeah, all right, it's fine. I'll give it to this guy to... I mean, everything's for sale. Do you think there were a bunch of I think kidneys they in me? that truck? Like, like they were just... Was a truck Collecting them? Of, yeah. yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, I, th- I, I actually assumed it was for somebody sick, but yeah, maybe it was an organ mill. That'd be mm, fun. Mill. Well, you got two, I mean. Yeah, it's true, and I don't... I probably do need mine. I drink a lot of coffee. I'm going to need both. So anyway, so you get this idea for a business, right? So were you like, how do you get from, you know, this idea to like um, actually creating a business? Like, did you have any business experience? Did you Um, like attend any small business seminars? After working for somebody... Who doesn't know what that, they're doing? Well, you just realize, yeah. I mean, you can wing it a little and hope it works yeah. out. I, I'm lucky. I think everybody in my family owns a business. So, oh, really? Yeah, they're all entrepreneurs themselves. So you you kind of like just take from them and you see like what worked for them, what didn't work for them, what, you know, mistakes with employees, what they did well with employees. And you kind of just like work with that and how they treat customers. And, Badly. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, they, they're awesome. But um it's all service industry, so you got to be awesome, right? Oh, God. That's why I don't want to In theory, yeah. you, you should be awesome, rather. Yeah, you should be if you want to yeah. make it. That's well, why I'm a software engineer. I'm not yeah. allowed to be near other people. <laughs> well, it'd be weird if you're the owner of the business and then have a bad attitude. Like, that's just a yeah. recipe for success, right? It's mm. so common, like, leave that yeah, to like, your, <laughs> Well, it's more like leave that to your employees. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The face, you know, so yeah. the person you see when you was come the in. first location on Whitney. It was yes. Okay, so and you scouted that place out, and you were like, "This will work." Yeah, it was. Uh, it was kind of like all you needed to start. Yeah, because yeah, it was a pretty small space. S- small space, you know, you didn't really know where it was going, so you yeah. had to, you wanted to probably sm- start small and eventually move you know, to a bigger space rather yeah. than getting a huge space and then not be like, "Oh crap, this is you too don't want to do the." Um, Devil's Gear bike thing where you have a small space and a huge space and, and then a medium small, space yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. a bigger space. No, so it, you no. literally only need a chair, sink, and scissors. You're good to go. Yeah, you could do anything with that. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Words to live by. Yeah. Do okay. the most you can do in the smallest space possible. Yeah, I can. Oh, I was just going to keep a pair of scissors on me at <laughs> yeah, all times. At all times. <laughs> just in case, you never know. Just, just carry around scissors. Start cutting grass, yeah. you know, bushes. You I never feel like know. you might have that vibe where you could just cut somebody's hair at the bar. Hell yeah. I could see it. Yeah. That would be my thing. You know what I mean? I would trust you. Did you? I love that. I appreciate that. That was a Did mistake. You see how she trusts me and not you? Mm, he doesn't like seem more, like that. More anti Semitism. I he mean, doesn't seem like the, he has uh, enough it's care. Just, in it's him. growing yeah. in our society. And I, you know, that's what I try to tell him. I try to tell him to care. Who's got the flavor, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, got, he's got something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a certain je ne sais quoi. There we go. Now we're, now we're speaking French, Josh. You know what that is? 
This podcast is over. You guys all leave. All right, yeah, I'm yeah, done yeah. with this. Yeah, this is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can leave. We'll stay. No, no, no. You gotta and, start your uh, own. You guys, you're gonna have to watch a movie to be on his podcast. Good luck with that. Everybody likes movies. Everybody I likes do. Have to watch. Yeah, uh, you have to prepare. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. All right. Um, I had a question. Oh, so I had an incident one time at the hive. Oh no. No, no. It was my own fault. <laughs> oh, Jesus. so here's what happened. So wait, so you've had your hair cut there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who did it? I don't remember. I never like. No, I mean it was you fine. look familiar, but it could, I did no, see no, no, you no. ride your bike by the window here <laughs> yeah, today. That's so. right. You look familiar from seventeen minutes earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, go um, on. No, 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 no. It was fine. It, was, it had nothing to do with anything. No, I we don't incident, want fine. We want great. No, no, no. I I had a self inflicted incident. At so what happened was you I went to the yourself. hive. I got <laughs> that's right. I shit myself, but nobody noticed, and that was fine. I was just carrying it around. No, I I got my hair cut. And I paid with a credit card, and there was no way to tip with a card, so I could just never come back ever. So um, that's what I did. I just was like, I can literally never show my face here again. Okay, so like you know, you there's Venmo. You can double up next you know, time. Double up the yeah, next you just time. Come back with money. You can come you can back go with to the cold bank, hard cash. Uh, three doors down, the but, ATM. But no. since we there's, came the back, the immediate shame was too great. There was hmm. no way I was going to be able to like. But wait, how long ago was this? Can I just ask? <clears throat> oh, this was gosh, I mean, like years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. five years ago. Because in the last like two years we have been allowing tips on yeah that's true yeah no i've been there since i went to each i feel like enough time had elapsed so i was like all right it's probably safe to go back okay yeah yeah it was fine i just but after that i just never came back thank you for your uh for your patronage oh yeah no problem yeah that's how i knew about you do you have a rag resnick what tom res i love tom yeah Tom recommended you as a guest, so you better oh, yeah. crush it. Oh, yeah. Tom, Tom, and uh, Tom's daughter and my daughter are like three weeks apart. Oh, nice. And we live next door to each other when we have Ruby? them. Is that her name? No, her, that's her middle name, me. Oh, right, yeah. right. Ruby's a programming language, Sean. I know. <laughs> I didn't know. Are you still awake? <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, cool. Anyway, I just wanted to confess because I just couldn't bring that to the grave. Wait, anymore. so are you a current? Plus, uh, uh, no, it's way too hard to book with you guys. You're just yeah, so that's busy. True. So, and I have a friend who has a salon in Milford who is really nice to me. So I kind of go to her sometimes. Awesome. But, yeah. But it does seem like, like I did look recently because I was like, I should get my haircut before Thanksgiving, right? Like that's kind of a thing you do sometimes. And I looked <laughs> and I was like, they have nothing for weeks. That's amazing. Yeah, no. No, I, that's, that's incredible. And then I was, and for a little while I was going to um, Skull and Combs, but then it turns out that guy is like, uh, well, you. <laughs> I have never met him. No, um, never. Not met him. Okay. Never met him. So yeah, we don't yeah. have any. Well, he like. They I seem remember, pretty busy. Yeah, they seem. They like seem no, no, yeah, they're, they're doing, doing great. Good. It was like the owner posted this thing on Instagram around the like Black Lives Matter protests with like oh. a picture of himself with like a shotgun in front of his studio. <gasps> oh, yeah. And oh, was like, that. And he was just like, blah, blah, blah. Second Amendment. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> I was like, buddy, nobody's destroying your salon. It's, just, it's not good to like mix politics and hair. Yeah. It's not know? good to probably mix politics in any business unless like you are really like Matt Fantastic does it because yeah. like that's his whole being. Mm-hmm. Like he cannot not do he, it. He can do it. Like, right. He exactly. can do he it. He has to. Like yeah. he punches people sometimes. He punches, he punches Nazis. Right. People. right. Yeah. He punches Nazis. He, punches he Nazis. literally punches Nazis. There's so. Nazis around? Yeah. <laughs> They're among us. You know, this is he just got, more. He got, yeah, he got in trouble for punching There Nazi. might be one here right now, and we wouldn't you even know. know. About <laughs> 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 Amen, are you? All right, sorry. Um, cool. So, anyway, now that I've confessed that. Do you feel you know, clean? better than a confession? Was the haircut good? Let's yeah. really get down so, yeah, to wait, the Yeah, wait, was the haircut good? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Cool. I've, I've had pretty good experiences at the Hive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, I meant it's it's probably... um, the other play. What's uh, Skull and Combs? Yeah, they're also pretty good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah was, was it like, pretty... I'm going to kill a protester good? No, it I'm... wasn't. Yeah, as soon as that happened. But wouldn't that picture be cool if you didn't write anything? You know, you just posted it? I mean, you kind of look. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The timing. Wild. I think the timing is the Wild issue. West. Yeah, the ti- right. Everything. The timing's bad. And also, just I'm pretty anti-gun overall. So I think Well, it's probably I'm... never a good idea to post yourself with a gun on the Social internet. media, no. yeah. Yeah. That doesn't I mean, make me want to get my hair cut at your place. You <laughs> like, yeah, have some scissors, perhaps. <laughs> oh, you don't like your hair cut? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, all you need is a sink. <laughs> you need a chair. Sink, it says uh, scissors, you should, you should a gun. You guys, we don't need the gun. the gun. Put the gun away. <laughs> really big How do you do defend your slot from other competitive... Uh, Swans, swans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really think that sentence through very well. Yeah, you well. blew it. Um, well, what's cool, though, is like... 
there's enough hair in the city. Yeah. For everybody. Everybody. Damn. You know what I mean? Everybody. Yeah, I mean, there's that not, is a good point. There, there's a there's lot of so hair many out there. There, there is. is a lot. Yeah. It's That's never another ending. thing you could put on a wall, I think. That's, you guys are <laughs> it's very never pithy. ending. There's like at least four strands of hair out there, man. Yeah. So did you like um like you both are hairdressers, right? Did you both know yes. growing up like or like at what point no. did you decide you were like I'm into this? You know what I mean? Like, is it something you kind of fall into or? When you're lost. So when you're lost. lost. <laughs> oh my God. Every hairdresser's lost. <laughs> so it's kind of almost like being a bartender. Like you just are like. And I did that too. Yes. Oh, you did all, that as well? Yes, we're very Have lost. Have all hairdressers been bartenders? No. No. Okay. No. 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 Oh, no. You looked pretty insulted when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Do you listen. view yourselves uh, higher than bartenders in the echelon no, of no. the service industry? Probably no. not. Probably not. No. Probably not. They're all know. really needed. Is that? They're both needed, equally needed. Yeah, true. They probably get the same level of uh, respect, right? I yeah. Mean. And you both are kind of like uh, therapists. You know, oh, yeah. you hear about people's problems. Do you think that that is like uh, one of the strongest parts of like, you know, being a hairdresser is having to like make those conversations and listen to people? And um, Without being corny, I think it's just about like when people come in, like try to be cheery, you know? If they want to say something that sounds like a downer, let them. But if it's, you know, they're there to have uh, a good time, feel good about themselves, their hair, and walk out. No stress. So how, how much do you lead conversation versus, like, letting the customer well, it lead? depends. I mean, some people, you could just totally tell, don't want to talk. Mm-hmm. And then you just you That's sh- me. You <laughs> stop. I really feel like there's a way to know easily. Three ways. If they give you one word answers to your questions, they don't want to talk. Mm-hmm. If they close their eyes during the service, <laughs> they don't want to talk. And if they read the entire time, they don't want to talk. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it never even sure. occurred to me to bring yeah. a book. You, well, <laughs> or just go on your phone or whatever. You don't have to actually uh, yeah. bring a hardcover, you know, because then hair gets on it. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It would be funny to bring like a massive novel, like War and Peace, Peace or something. Yeah, exactly. like, <laughs> what if you, huge tome. <laughs> what if you read to your hairdresser? That'd be pretty <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be right? oh, I'm that down with awesome. that. A fun bit. Like, yeah. All right, where did we leave off last <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just reading Infinite that. Jest and having us flip to the back of the book to read the footnotes and then coming yeah. back. To a lot of, House yeah. of Leaves style. Yeah. Be, yeah. All right. We got to hold this up to the mirror. There's so many mirrors, though. It's great. <laughs> so, uh, okay, cool. How long have you both been cutting hair? Like uh, 10, uh, 15 years? 16 years. Wow. Okay. And then 28. Wow. Damn. Well, we said That's 25 on his bio. <laughs> My yeah. bio said 25 because we start getting weird like we were talking before about that whole <laughs> how thing. old, right. what makes you sound too yeah. old or not yeah. old enough. How do you like try out new hairdressers? Like, Well, when we, you know, after we do an interview, it's like such a small space we have. Like, yeah. So we closed the the Whitney Avenue location because it was too small after COVID. You're like, yep. we're definitely going to get COVID in here. So we well, should if you right. want to get COVID, go to that space. It's <laughs> yeah. so intimate. Yeah, you got a wedding to go to. You don't want to go to go to that space. Nice. But we, uh, <laughs> so we have our other location. So we closed down. We did a renovation. Right, you're in East Rock on Nickel Street, is it? Yes, exactly. Great. So, um, so it's a little bit bigger. Still small, though. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we need to make sure that the people who work for us are the same vibe as us. Mm-hmm. You know, we can joke around you know, get along, realize that nobody is higher than anybody else. None yeah. of this PC culture stuff. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so, Show uh, us your gun collection. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we we first, you know, do that talking interview, and then we have them do usually a, a men's haircut. Okay. Um, on a live human? On a live human. We bring oh them in somebody. Um, but not... How do you tell them to bring somebody? somebody? Bring somebody, not one of our oh, clients. Like, uh, like, back, no, like, no, 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 no. Nah. <laughs> I'm like, what put happens if I cut his head? <laughs> Yeah, like, no. so you get shoved out of a van. Yeah, and he's dragged away in the middle of the <laughs> night and just sit him in a chair and yeah, took up the hook no. and says, like, you're getting your hair cut. <laughs> he thought he was getting murdered, but yeah. instead he's getting a free haircut. Yeah. Not so bad. But it might not Depends be a great haircut, haircut right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is well, an inexperienced... That's what we're there for. I yeah, yeah. be kidnapped and given a bad up. haircut. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we just have him do a men's haircut um, because mm-hmm. men's haircuts are so much harder than women's. Like, you could just see a mistake. They're okay, A lot faster. Like, just, like, immediately when a women's haircut, you're like... Yeah, it's a layer too short. Just put another layer over it. It'll yeah, be yeah, fine, yeah. you know. Can't really hide. You can hide it. A you lot can easier. hide it a lot yeah. easier. So, but with like a short haircut like yours, it's like, oh, that's that's not great. Yeah, you know. Hair Wait, texture, are you? I'm sorry. Did you just tell me my haircut? I did great? not. No, no. <laughs> wow. You, you took I'm gonna that. tell Dom you took about that this. As, wow, <laughs> I that was hurtful. If I had feelings, maybe I something would be you want to talk about with your hair dress. Yeah, yeah. That's your personal. That's your personal thing. Wow. Okay. Um. I used to have this <laughs> thing with my sister where she would go to the salon and she would ask for like an inch off 
And she would swear that they took more off, and then she would have a meltdown for, I don't know, a month. Mm -hmm. Is this a common problem? I mean, not for me or I wouldn't think Jenna and nobody that works for us. Have we seen them do that? But I've heard that complaint so many times. I don't get it. Do you think it's psychological or do you think it's real? No, I think somewhere in the middle, maybe. Somewhere in the middle. Obviously, it happened. Somebody said take an inch off and somebody went a little wild. Or maybe somebody, maybe an inch is more than you think, and you just are not ready for the. Some change. people like to think so. But also, how <laughs> often is somebody Was coming? Was that a <laughs> sex show? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Thank God. I'll never tell. <laughs> um, but also, like, how often yeah. are you going back to your hairstylist or barber or whatever to com- make that complaint? Because most of the time, a lot of times, people will like get a haircut they don't like and just accept it in the room, like in the yeah, salon yeah. or mm-hmm. the barbershop or whatever, and then. Get home like actually I don't like this, but I'm not gonna go back and say anything. Yeah, I'll just be like yeah. I'll just live with this until my. And we never go realistically back. we want people to let us know yeah. if they're not happy. Yeah, we totally. want to try to make people happy. I used to be like that when I was younger. Like I would be like I'm not gonna say anything, and they're like Why would I not say anything? This is my head. <laughs> like they don't like the barbers now. I mean, you gotta walk yeah. around like that yeah, for exactly. a month or so. Yeah, I don't. Uh, but there's not anything you can do in the moment though. Like I feel like if a, if a haircut is bad, you're like. The hair is gone. Like it's gonna well, be hard. Well, I guess if you yes. feel like they came up short, what means they're going to do wow. a better job? So many good puns around here. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it depends on the, the haircut. You know, what I mean? it's, like, it's like okay, if they cut off too much, yes, you can't bring, you can't add more hair. But if it's not, that would be a great service. If you could undo haircuts, that would be some sort of dark magic. We wouldn't be here talking to you if we figured that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they would be totally inaccessible to us. Be like, be... We've had people say, "I wish my hair would just like stop at this length and never need to be cut." I'm like, "Well, thanks." Yeah, don't tell me that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> cool. My kids don't need to eat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, there was a one guy came in. I remember him saying, you know, I did the math and it's like 30 cents a day if I was going to get my hair cut, you know, once a month. And that's just, I think, just too much. And I'm like, that's just my livelihood. You just put like a complete price on like what, you know, I, for my yeah, bills and for craft. Everything, my craft. I'm just yeah, impressed yeah. that he like thought about it 30 cents a day and was like, too much? Yeah, <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> I was like, seriously, I'm like, that sounds pretty reasonable. Like, I don't know how much Is that costs. how they sell you to, to donate to, <laughs> right. yeah. you know, children in other countries? It's like right. seven cents a day. Exactly. Yeah, that, that, that that's not too much for anything in my life. 30 yeah. cents a day? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Whew. Was that, like, oh, that was cheap. Shit. Is it, that's like fucking a dollar, <laughs> 30 or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. I can't do math. So COVID must have been really hard for you. That in was uh, 90 cents. Uh, that was awful. Yeah. It's like 11 <laughs> weeks we were closed. Yeah. Just fully closed. Yeah. 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 Fully yeah, just like, hey, you're not, you're going to be completely Allowed. unemployed. All right. Fess up. Were you guys doing black market haircuts? Like, no. No? Nothing in a back alley? <laughs> Well, no. the, in the beginning, the problem was is you had no idea. <laughs> Remember, you'd go to the grocery store and wipe all your boxes down when you got home that like a lunatic? Wild. Yeah, oh, I yeah. never yeah. did that. I was like, eh, that's just too much work. <laughs> I was, I was doing just, that, but I was also like, I'm not eating the outside of this box. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm, like, I'm not eating the, I mean, I'm not eating Tony the Tiger's Probably. face. I'm eating yeah. <laughs> his precious flakes. <laughs> They're so good. Wouldn't you eat his face, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think they are his flakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> he guards them from, with his life. Yeah, he's, like, he's like Smaug with all the gold coins. Because I know, like, so in Lucky Charms, it's like the leprechaun flakes. is pretty pissed off that they keep taking his Lucky Charms. <laughs> but well, Tony never seems to have the same <laughs> sense of proprietorship towards well, the flakes. He's, like, he's more like... I made these for you, but right. like, don't. I don't think he would be comfortable with people coming in and stealing them. He's like, I, I would sell them to you gladly, but don't yeah, take my. Don't take them. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know how we got on it. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be about. No, I it's love okay. cereal. Yeah, cereal's yes. great. I do. What is your every favorite night. cereal? One o'clock in the morning. Favorite so every hard. Day. Best okay. cereal. Go. I, I, hate, I hate favorite too, but like, what are some of your favorite? Captain Crunch. Okay, Kicks. excellent. Kicks. Kicks. I love Kicks. Kicks is underrated. Kicks is underrated. Oh, so Kicks, good. I mean, it's. Really? It's kid tested mother approved. Seriously. <laughs> that's just now it's parent that sounds you know, made up, first of now all. Now it's kid tested yeah. parent approved. <laughs> Cinnamon just Toast you Crunch. Test something on children doesn't make it good. <laughs> Cookie Crunch. That's, that's <laughs> what we eat it. That's <laughs> Lucky You're Charms. Right. Yeah. Lucky Charms. I like Raisin Brain because I'm sometimes old. Sometimes the marshmallows feel weird on my teeth. <laughs> what is that waffle that one? That goes back to your childhood Waffle Crisp? Sure. Waffle Crisp, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Honeycombs is dope. Yeah. What about dope. Alphabets? They were good, but they kind of unsugared them a little. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I was, like, I like I was definitely a big Cinnamon Toast Crunch Love guy. Excellent cereal. Yeah. Top the cookie tier. Cookie Crisp. 
You know, just because you got basically chocolate milk. What's happening behind me? I just saw a bird. Cookie nice crisp. <laughs> I just saw a bird. You saw a bird and you were like, I got to holy say. shit. I never liked cookie crisp. Stop the podcast. No? There's a bird <laughs> outside. I, always, like, I would rather just have my own, like, just a cook, like a good cookie. They're hard to dunk in the milk. Yeah. Mm. I'd rather just have like a, a good cookie and then just do it that my own. Like, yeah, they weren't mm. good cookies. I'll say that. Yeah. They were small cookies <laughs> tore up the roof of your mouth anyway oh my i really appreciate you coming in here captain crunch as well yeah captain, captain crunch is watch much well. worse yeah, oh but yeah that hurts that but it hurts. hurts so good exactly yeah. mm. see Sweetie. now you know we're unleashing some real psychological yeah you know it's like masochist. a yeah. <laughs> tv power through a whole box you are bleeding <laughs> <Yes>. after <laughs> saturday crunch saturday berries morning, i like the crunch uh, berry one crunch berries are extra crunch yeah i like honey bunches of oats now too that's pretty great I was thinking going some oats. The almonds suck. What? The honey bunch oats are Leave. good. Get but then out. they said with Get almonds, and it totally out. changes cereal. <laughs> it's great in a great way. Almonds make almost everything better. No. I thought wow. that was bacon. I'll oh, see. Uh, yeah, bacon is more like that thing. You wouldn't want bacon in your uh, honey bunches of oats. <laughs> well, you get almost everything better. Not, not <laughs> Try anything <laughs> once. What's that? Try anything once. Yeah, yeah fair. Right. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past. You know, they put it in an ice cream. It's probably delicious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I have a guest question for yeah. you. Oh, okay. Uh, these weren't guest questions before. These were just. <laughs> these were for my brain. Yeah. I thought is this we hair related. Like, or I thought we came here to question. talk about. Cereal. Oh yeah, sorry. This is like a friend question. Somebody oh. asked me to ask you. Oh. oh okay. Is it hair? Is it hair? Yeah, it's hair related. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. They're like, ugh, enough you of this hair. Pretty, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're surprisingly disgusted by that. I. She wants to know why do all women crave bangs when so few women can pull it off? It's a, uh, it's trauma. It's trauma. Mm. Yeah. You think there's a psychological no. thing? I think some people look really great in bangs, but so I think like some after like a breakup great. or some major life event, we all have to try bangs once. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's why like, like uh, bangs though. Like why? Because it's like a non-permanent. Mm, yeah, change. it's not as You know, it's not, it's not a tattoo. A tattoo right. It's not a tattoo. Maybe it's about the I want short hair, but I can't commit to it. So. Yeah. Just like a oh, so you don't want to go full yeah. like pixie yeah. cut or whatever. Uh, do you ever talk people out of bangs? Sure. Yes. Yeah? All the time. All the time. All the time. You have nice. a large forehead, bangs are good. Medium, average size forehead, good. Side Small, bangs. no. Yeah. No. Tiny forehead, bangs now, are good. Now, like, even with mm. COVID, with the masks, I'm like, okay, listen, if you have bangs and a mask, you your whole face is gone. You have like a visor, basically. Yeah. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like hot. a reverse cyclops. It's like a little a bit hot. Kylo Ren yeah. mask. That's right. <laughs> Um, which is also extremely cool. So you, so when you talk someone out of bangs, it's usually because they have a small forehead. A lot of times, or just do or, you tell or, them that, or, or just be like, you have a or they just forehead. don't do their hair. Like some women mm. like want all these like beautiful styles, and they come in with their Pinterest board and everything. And yeah. I'm like, but you don't blow dry your hair, and like you don't put yeah. product in your hair, and you don't actually take any time. Like, yeah, you're not ready for so this. So this is not anything <laughs> that you. These are the things you can yeah. have, and these are the things you definitely cannot have, and it's most things. You know, <laughs> That's wow, you this, can't. It's you most, are my new mom. Trying. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's all Listen, like coming back. Is now. this when I disclaim that statement? <laughs> Go ahead. You Here's know, I have most to distance things. myself you can't from have that. them, and I don't love you. Like it's yeah. it. I feel like I'm right back home. I'm with your mother. Right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Something about your face. I just In hell. Say no. All right. Sorry, that was maybe too far. <laughs> um. Great. Good to know. Because like, some people do look amazing in bangs, but it's like, like there's a percentage. Oh, yeah. Right? The percentage totally. is not as high as... The bang queen. Also, high bangs, I'm just... I don't know, man. I love micro bangs. Yeah? Oh, I love them. They're hard on the to right, do, like... On the right person, they could look stunning. It's really? hard to commit to Who's cutting the right them, person? Though, you know? Like a cone head? Like someone like, with a forehead <laughs> that big? <laughs> Someone like a little edgy who has an edgy style. Co head film <laughs> just for the bang possibilities. Like, yeah. It's hard to commit to cutting them though, it like is. that short. You know, yeah. you always think they're short, and somebody who's super into them will be like, no, they need to be shorter. And you're That's like, are you sure? Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example, like a celeb example with micro bangs, as you, as you call them, which I've uh, Betty Page. Called. Betty Page. Betty right. Page. She had like the original micro bang. I don't they? know who that is. So. Oh, they're pretty or short. Are they just a blunt bang? They were mm. really short. Now they were definitely the above her eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're pretty Google short. This person. Who's Betty Page? I'm sorry, what? Are you serious? Seriously. Is, that, is she one of the old time this ladies? Is guy serious? Yeah. yeah. Come on. There's no Betty Page. Uh, I mean, those are like normal size bangs. Right, no? Let me get a glimpse of That's what I was thinking. I, I, I don't know. Picture. I thought they were pretty short. I mean, I don't know. See, I don't see know. what I say? Normal. Hairdressers always think they're micro. <laughs> 
yeah. Anything pretty, above the pretty, eyebrow, I'm like, oh, that's a microbe. That's <laughs> dangerous. That's zone. danger zone. <laughs> it, so it, you start sweating. I mean, they're pretty. It's I don't a, know. It's those a, are pretty short. Those are short. Oh wait, what is yeah. that called? Where you uh, the victory roll or? Oh something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Victory roll. I yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. Victory roll. Um, is there is there a hair? Is there a hairstyle like you won't allow in your shop? No, no. Like it was like uh, this episode of uh, the show Community, and like they were. Oh, doing I love a, Community. You know they were doing yeah. a pottery class. And he's like no ghosting. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I thought it was like no mullet. We <laughs> make that joke all the time. All the time. Like, all at the work, time. You know. <laughs> Those are good people. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you ever like? Does anybody ever come in like a bit older and they want a haircut that's like clearly not like their age? And you're like, hey, Please. maybe. <laughs> no names, like, no, no names, names no names. like sometimes I'll come in and she's like, "Oh, what do you want to do?" And I'm like, "I don't know, man. I'm fucking forty. Like, I don't probably mm-hmm. just a normal haircut is gonna be okay. Like, I don't, I can't, I don't want to try to being too cool because that's gonna be worse. You know what I mean? Right. Like trying too hard when you're older. No, everyone fears the age appropriate haircut, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have like a um? Do you have like a wall of haircuts? You'd be like, what's your age? But <laughs> here's, <laughs> here's your normal yeah. hair. Yeah, 35 to 40, 40 to 50. Yeah, yeah. you guys, are, you cut off. You're 49. You can't do this anymore. You have to now move on to the 50s haircuts. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, I don't know. I, was, I got nothing. No. Yeah, I, don't, I wish I had a, uh, an example for what a 50, someone in their 50s haircut would be. It's very simple, I guess. Just a yeah, sure. normal ass thing. Yeah. Or is it somebody who looks in their 50s or actually is in their 50s, uh, right? That's, yeah, that's mm. a good point. That's a good point. And it's about, like, you know, know, how they act, too. How like old do you think Jenna is? You just, you know. I mean, I loved right. what you said before. 18, yeah. 18. I could really not see that. it. I know you're not. Not, not you. even like, but it's like, it's like you couldn't be because you just said you were cutting hair for, like, 16 years. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do look yeah. very young. Yes. All right, yeah. I started when I was 17. Okay, I have to do math. I'm going to even say You do math, and now you got it. Damn, you're 47. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent math. Dude, um, I am an engineer. It comes naturally to me. Does anyone ever come in and is like, uh, I want to try something new, like with no idea, like just kind of like leaving it up to you all the time. I feel like a lot of times they like say, "Let's that. do something new," and they still leave with the same. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it because I'd like to know, like, where am I going here? Like, where? Give me a, some sort of direction. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's an insane request. It's what like, would yeah. be a good direction? Like what? Like would be... length. Give me the length you want. Do you like layers? Are you actually gonna do your hair? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. these are things that would really help. Us. Yeah, my hairstyle definitely is like. All right, so what you do is you use the blow dryer. I'm like, no, nope, that's not gonna happen. Like, there's <laughs> no chance I'm gonna plug that thing in. Like, I own one technically. Well, that's half the battle. Mm, turns out it's actually not even close. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a tenth of the battle. I guess. Well, I think you wanna work with your hair, not mm. against it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if you have straight hair, it may not be curly. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're not just gonna make it happen. <laughs> give and up perms the dream. Cool, so give up the dream. Are you telling me to give up on having hair? I probably should, right? Not yet. You have hair like. for now. Yeah. It looks yeah. soft. It's falling a little bit in the back. So I've thought about Propecia, but it turns out that it like affects your sex drive. Uh, you you're a ravenous animal. No, that's the problem. I'm already Bunner not a ravenous killer. animal. <laughs> so like, if I start doing Propecia, <laughs> I'll probably become a monk. Yeah, which is. Probably It'd fine. be sad though, right? Because you got the hair, the which game? gets you the do hookup, right, do but monks then play you can't do games. it. <laughs> yeah. I basically be a monk, except in World of Warcraft. So I mean, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna, you know, but for the at home listeners, she raised her finger <laughs> up and then went down like a drooping, <laughs> uh, flaccid penis. So now you've had the full experience. It's not That's your future, a guarantee. That's my future, <laughs> <laughs> present and future. So you get the hair, yep. Get the hookup, can't close the deal. So that's what you fear. Oh, I mean, I'm not even, like, there's no part of me that's, like, trying to hook up. I just want to have hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, a personal confidence thing, you know what I mean? Oh, personal hair is, a, you know, confidence. hair definitely has to do a lot with confidence. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just want to, like, feel like I look good. I don't care if anybody wants to. Sl- I do want people to want me. But I, I don't, don't want... finish that sentence because that's a lot. I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I want don't... to be wanted, but I don't actually want to be involved in that situation. <laughs> there you <laughs> so, go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's just lazy. Yeah, yeah. I this think is what we know about Josh now. Yeah, <laughs> you, I think you got it. You got the whole picture now. All right, cool. 
Sex is now great. I'm wondering but what it the is back of your head looks work. like. No, okay. How you bald is it? Turn around for a second. <laughs> no, it's actually fine in the back. It's just like it's it's getting thinner up top. It'll uh, all right. Like yeah, that's the one fun thing about the like stop and shop self checkout is you can see the top of your own head and it really gives you a chance to like hate yourself a little bit. Feel uh, bad inside. Mm-hmm. Story. Yeah, you know, and it's not a flattering. No, I still feel good about myself. As a stop and sh- I. Yeah. Full head, full head of hair here, my Body friend. Da. You're well, just rubbing nice. it in his face. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's not a good friend. It's fine. No, no, I would never be. Do you ever dream about his hair, like maybe on <laughs> you? <laughs> that would be like, something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we could be friends after that. No, I would be <laughs> so quickly canceled from society. Like, oh boy, no, I'm all right. But, uh, <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> I know, I'm picturing <laughs> it right now. Awesome. It's amazing. Uh, oh my! He'd be like God. Adam Duritz from County Crows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, uh, I mean, Lenny Kravitz is Jewish, and he sort of pulled it off, but mm, I don't think I'm quite... He's also another thing. He's also yeah. one other thing that Yeah, he's also, to... you know... Yeah. What? Black? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I'm fairly white. <laughs> You're pretty white, for sure. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Fairly, yeah. Like, You're you match his, match his table pretty well. All right, you know what? <laughs> Why? Did the, when did this turn on to Let's Hurt Josh's Feelings podcast? The moment the fucking mic's turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. I don't like the way you turn people against me. (laughs) Colin hurts my feelings, but only like sort of incidentally, like for the cause of the joke. But I feel like you're you're more intentional, you know? Hey, man. That's why I got to bring Shayna back. (laughs) She's nice to me. (laughs) I need a Shayna episode soon. Otherwise, my confidence is going to really fall off a cliff. Um, Great. So, uh, Hive Hair Studio, uh, you can't book it because you're way too busy. No, you you can book our, our staff. Our staff is awesome. Okay. They're they, pretty booked up, too. They're though. pretty booked up, too, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, give it a try. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah Go yeah, on the yeah. website. See what happens. Sign up yeah. Everyone now. hates a quitter. You'll be ready to get a haircut, <laughs> in, you know, mid to late December, just in time for Christmas. Too late mm-hmm. for Hanukkah. Um, yeah, some spots open. Now she will find it. Yeah, spot. plan yeah, for the future. You know what I mean? You're going to need a haircut next month. Yeah. For sure. Well, that's for sure. Everyone needs to book their next appointment. What I find is... If no, you go I'm to Hives, I'm yeah, I mean, it makes total sense, right? <laughs> yeah. You know you're going to need one. Yeah, I mean, you're going to want <laughs> a haircut again. I might not. I can't buy a bus. And then what? Now I've got an appointment I don't need? Shh. No, I'm good. Damn, yo. <laughs> got dark. <laughs> he usually does around this time. You might still need a cut, though. I mean, I guess you wouldn't go to a salon for that, but sometimes yeah. they'll... I guess the mortician. Yeah, have you that. guys ever cut dead, dead, dead people's hair? No, but I have a client that made me um, promise that I will style her hair for her funeral wow oh, nice. you can make that promise yeah it could make the promise through. and never yeah, come through know. wow yeah, you lied to her sure um yeah oh my god lie all the time so who all does hair goes for dead people matter. is there a separate <laughs> no 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 it's, it's, it's cosmetologists normal. okay they do it okay is it's it like... awesome though because you only have to do the front of the head <laughs> Oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> and you a... give them all bangs. <laughs> so Micro like... bangs all around. <laughs> what, a, what a time to try a new style. <laughs> wow, Debbie, you look weird. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I remember. So um, youthful. It's like <laughs> these waxy features and micro bangs really bring out your lack of vitality. <laughs> That's how I thought, like, Cosmos cosmetology school worked like uh, they would bring a, like you know how like it like, like bring dead people yeah like cadavers to cut, <laughs> yeah, just, like, like, how that's like how medical school yeah, like medical they school. Yeah. perform be so few graduates <laughs> oh like that would be um we should open our own cosmetology school that yeah. does just do dead bodies yeah, cadavers dude yeah no one's no one's upset with their their cut you know exactly I mean? they bring a lot of elderly people into the hair school yeah maybe we'll do like a slash ventriloquist school so we also have people pretending to be like the the dead body. Yes. So they're giving active two skills. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> Fun voice. Where are you putting your hand? Ooh. <laughs> I think you know the answer to yeah. that question. Yeah. You gotta uh, have long. Let's just say you gotta have long arms. That's right. In this business. In yeah. The business. <laughs> Our application process <laughs> is like the NFL combine. <laughs> we need to see your vertical yeah. leap. <laughs> That's funny. We have officially gone fully <laughs> off the rails. Yes, perfect. Um, okay, great. Anything else? I mean, you're the host. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> wow. We're the hair people. You're I blame the... you for this, Sean. You yeah. emboldened them. I take full responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Sean, if Sean cut hair, he could totally work at the shop. He yeah. would fit right in. He really would. I love this. See, I'm going to change that. I'm not making any money in comedy. That's fucking do hair. No, certainly not. Yeah. I mean, he could just come hang out at the shop. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to hold you to that. Right. <laughs> come on down. To it Nickel Street. Hive Hive Hair Studio. Yes. Um 
You want to do that other that game? You want to do some games? Yeah, we'll do some games. Yeah, sure. Uh, so the first game that we like to play is called Fuck, Mary Kill. Oh, boy. You kill her after you fuck her? <laughs> we don't oh do people. God. Yeah, we don't, we're, we're respectful here. No, <laughs> these are... We do these on constant. Where's the comma? <laughs> cadavers. <laughs> Very cadavers. important. Yeah, yeah, all right. We're going to bring in three cadavers in here. <laughs> you got to pick. Betty Page. <laughs> <laughs> Cary Grant. Could you imagine if we could access the Betty Pages? <laughs> Rita Hayward. <laughs> Uh, no, so usually we do it in ideas. So like, um, I was thinking hairstyles, you know. But if okay. that's like too, uh, if you don't want to come out on hating hairstyles, we could do something else. You know, we could no, do that's fine. We could do hair. hair. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, I we don't could know. try it. Yeah, sure. Let's do hairstyles. Never thought about it. Though. Yeah. So fuck Mary Kill. Um, let's see. I would kill high bangs. <laughs> mm. I just Ooh. don't think they. I think. Why'd they, you go right after girls? Seriously. <laughs> It's actually just one specific person I'm thinking of, and she doesn't live in Betty America. She Page. broke up with you? Yes, <laughs> Betty Page. No, she did not break up with me. We're not romantically she, involved. Not yet. Not yet. That's right. Or ever. I mean, I wouldn't think ever, but- She's probably not going to like him after he said kill. Yeah. I would be Yeah, if you had a chance, it's she out the window now. Yeah, it's yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her how you really feel. I'm trying to figure out who this is. It's definitely not anybody you've ever met. Oh, okay. She I doesn't was... live in America anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. you, ran you met her, her on the internet. It's, yeah, you it's ran her, her off with your no, bang she was, opinions. She was a New Haven person, and she moved away to I don't get know, away to from get Europe yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Beat me to it. Excellent job. <laughs> I'm gonna kill white dreads. White, all right, interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Like bleached out, or you mean just white people, white with, people dreads? with dreads? White people with dreads. Are we killing the hairstyle or the person? Yeah, this is where it either gets one weird. works for me. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> ouch. What do you say to the the idea that, you know, Vikings sometimes had dreadlocks or whatever? That was unintentional. That was just like they were nasty and like just hanging yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, I kind of had dreadlocks in high school for exactly that reason. <laughs> Not taking care of my hair. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm glad I didn't know you then cuz I yeah. would have had to kill you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would have probably accepted it. Yeah, you would have it. Like, the height you. of my uh depression <laughs> untreated, so. I'm going to kill the bowl cut slash <gasps> skater cut. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Some about him, you just want to push him down. <laughs> 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 it just makes him bullyable. They always look like they're walking home fast to tell on somebody. <laughs> 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 I like that. Yeah, I don't know. Bad. I do love. Uh, do you watch Pen Fifteen, Sean? Yes. You do. Oh, Maya's that haircut. That's funny. Uh, oh, that was great. Like, that's more of the Dorothy Hamill. Yeah. Okay. But it's literally cut from a bowl. It like, is. Her it is. mom yeah. like literally puts a bowl on her head. But she I also is only so like good. it because it's a comedy. Like like because yeah, yeah. I'm I just not love, supposed to like it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I love Maya as a character so much. Oh, she is so good. Yeah. Her so. insanity is just mwah, beautiful. So I've just gotten into that show recently, so it makes me very happy. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should kill good haircuts instead and just have people walk around with bad haircuts and it's more fun. But the person who has it thinks yeah. it's a good haircut. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Jenna? Oh, um, I would kill the mullet. I know that's a really unpopular oh, opinion wow. right now yeah. because so many people are, it's, it's coming back, but I'm just, yeah. I feel I'm like, not a fan. I feel like it was back and now it's like kind of, I don't know. Yeah, It's like, it's a it faux back, mullet. Yes, and then now it's back in the way where it's like, it's too back. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it's not like it was never meant to be this mainstream. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. The mullets are bad. I, I, I'm with you. I'm not with it. But yeah. I mean, if you're talking mullet, mullet, like throwback Southern mullet, you know what I mean? It's all neat, parted, and then just extra party yeah. in the back. <laughs> hmm. I want to see Josh with a mullet. I want to see you with every style. I just don't have the. Yeah. Oh yeah, you wouldn't be good. In the back, you don't really got the. I do have, you know, there are pictures of me from when I was in middle and high school when I had extremely long hair, and it was a bad look. I, I can imagine. not pull it I'm off. Just sitting here look, I was about trying it. to, like, look like Kurt Cobain, but instead I looked like Kurt basically so lame. Maya. There we go. Kurt so yes. lame. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt uh, so lame. That's great. That was a good anyway, one. can you one. edit out basically this entire podcast? <laughs> or, you know, I'm, I'm... It's up to me to publish this. This shit will just sit on the cutting room floor forever. Yeah. I don't ever have it's to. Starting to feel like let anyone Sean, ever hear this. Jenna, and I, and you're the guest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are mean. It's like a morning radio show. <laughs> this like, this is like, actually what every day yeah. at work is like. Yeah. This is our basically what we this do is, at work. It actually yeah. makes a lot of sense. We're like a zoo crew it. right now. We're just. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's right. 
Sometimes it's surprising we're so busy because we're not everyone's cup of tea. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Really not. But that's just a testament to how good your your haircuts are. Oh, they're cool. pretty. They're pretty good. They're pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah. As good or better than cost cutters, I would say. <laughs> yeah. As good or better. <laughs> are those still around? <laughs> cost cutters? Yeah. I, don't I, know. I know super, super cuts. cuts. I used to work at a super cuts. Did That's, you? I did. Nice. Yeah. That's not the place that you two met, though. No, no. it's yeah. not. No. Gotcha. But you'd already moved great... on from super cuts. I moved on for super. I moved up. I never worked at a chain. I loved working at a chain. It was like the weirdest thing. I loved it. Nice. What about duper cuts? You never hear the word duper unless it's super in front of it. So it'd be like instead of super cuts, it'd be like even better than super cuts would be. Oh, Amy, can I, we oh, edit okay. that now out? I'm getting, I'm getting. Amy, can we edit that? <laughs> no, I'm getting it now. I see where yeah. he's going with it. Super I want you to keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just to show that I'm not perfect to the audience. You know what I mean? We all got some duds. Diamond boy, more like gold. All right, sorry. See, you too. Hey, not, not so easy now, is it? <laughs> it was never easy for me. Um, okay, I would. Um, boy, I haven't really thought about this that much. <laughs> you think I would have? I would maybe fuck with like um, the like dyed gray hair. Like I know it's not cool anymore. I like that, but I do like it. There's something about it that's just like it's like such a weird reversal of like what people ex- like. You know, for so many years we were all like, "Oh my god, you have gray, you got to dye it," and then people are like, "I'm going all gray." Or like, I mean, it's kind of silver. But it's kind of I don't know. Kind of makes me feel like people are superheroes, you know? Yeah, like very like uh, Storm, you know? Yeah, exactly, like, like Storm. Uh, I know it's not like, like this was like f- cool five years ago, but that's about how cool I am. It's like I'm about five <laughs> years behind. Yeah, on the... dated. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just, but I'm. It's fine. I want to fuck with the uh, the like panic mode. Cut all your hair off, like buzz cut. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, nice. uh, yeah. little yeah. Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, you like a little crazy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. That's what it's all about. <laughs> do you buy the do you buy the idea that she had like a drug chest or whatever and that she just shaved everything and it was all like a whole thing? The world that, Brit- was closing in on her. Brittany? Yeah. Oh like man, I feel bad for her. Oh, she's free now though. I know she's free, but I mean it's you know, had to go through all that. For so long. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's true. Man, they were pretty rough on her. hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, yes. All of those celebrities though. Like from that period like like why were we treating people like that? <laughs> <laughs> they were so mean. Yeah. Paris Hilton probably deserved a little bit. No, oh, she didn't. No, none of them do. None <laughs> like, of them I mean, do. Like she's, like, she, she wore a shirt saying, stop being poor. It's pretty bad. Yes, but... But she was also like 20. Yeah, and and I, mean, also, I bet we all like, did some pretty stupid she things. She was the daughter of a Hilton. Like, she, <laughs> like it's not... It's, it's, you can't expect someone like that to be normal. It's like Conrad Hilton's fault for not like giving his family... Teaching his family not to wear a shirt like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, she sucked, but we shouldn't have. We would. We shouldn't have even given her that much attention in the first place, and yeah. then we wouldn't have had to be mean to her to begin with. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's like she just let her just be a rich girl. Like, why, why do we? Why is she? On, why is she on my TV? I why saw, is she on my TV? Oh, well, that's hot. She's hot. <laughs> she's hot and rich. Like that's it. That's all you need. She, she didn't <laughs> lie about that. She yeah. Very, she, uh, I saw a great Photoshop of that recently, where they basically just blanked out the poor and it's just a stop being and i'm like i would buy that that's shirt. a great shirt that's a great yes. shirt i was like that is that yeah. whole thing <laughs> yeah exactly stop like, stop. Being. yeah it's, i side me up <laughs> get me off this ride uh all right you guys got i forgot with? what we're oh. i mean you can do any we actually don't know what direction fine. you do this in. Yeah. <laughs> usually colin goes anything i say he just picks something totally different so maybe oh. something throwback like feathered <laughs> Ooh, yes. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, little leotard, you know. Yeah, I was. I've been watching a lot of Pen Fifteen. There's a lot of great throwback go. fashion in there. Yeah. I'm loving it, you know. Yeah. I guess I would go with like the manic panic, you know, kind of <laughs> like all crazy colors. At home, like at home, at home yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. What is the manic panic? Like when it's just like like crazy colors, like you got like purples, blues, greens, okay. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's a brand, it, so you did it at home in your own bathroom. Yeah, right? oh, exactly. Results not, very dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. There might yeah. be a little bit of your scalp dyed a little bit. Yeah, to- right. yeah. oh, totally. Great. If you did it right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I uh, dated a lady who was in an open marriage. She would do that a lot, so that was pretty fun. Wait, which part? I would the say all, all of it was pretty I good. feel like he just wanted to tell us that part yeah. of it. Yeah. Wait, so you were the? I'm so experimental. Yeah, yeah. I was a side piece, I guess. Really? Wow. wow. Yeah. She had found out. It's actually really interesting. So she had like found out her husband was cheating on her. And then he basically was like, listen, I'm, I want to sleep with a bunch of people. So what about an open marriage? And she was like, all right, I'll try. 
which like you would think sounds like disaster, right? Sounds like such a bad idea. But then like she started going on Tinder and like found out that she was actually pretty well liked and like started enjoying herself. And then just kind of like, I think that she like, I haven't talked to her in a while, but like I said, her, she was kind of seeing one or two people, but was like pretty chill with it. Like they had actually found kind of like an equilibrium. That's pretty cool. She kind of just rolled with it. Yeah. Like, did he pet you during? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was more not... like in the corner. Oh, watching. so you were lame. I thought you were like really. No, no, we weren't like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was like. Did you like look back at him? Like, they were just like. No, I never. You did even, this? You I never even met him. Uh, no, they just had their own separate dating lives, you know? Like, I don't he know. knew of I, me. I couldn't. Ah, that's. Well, so I eventually realized that what I wanted was to like start a family, <laughs> and you can't really start a family with somebody else's wife. So yeah. I was like, no, oh, this isn't going to be for me. You were looking term. to settle down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was just hard to settle down in a situation where I was going to be like boyfriend four or whatever. So I think I murder Spare my husband. Bedroom. Just murder him if he was like, let's do yeah. an open marriage. I'm like, you know what? You're dead now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, just Fair. go for it. Don't you feel like one person wants it because he doesn't? He's too wimpy or she to break up. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I think it really depends. I think it's a cop-out. I, I don't think so. People... I think sometimes, like, because you could want to fuck somebody and not want to be with them. You know what I mean? That's Sh- called self-control. No, I, I, I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not advocating for... <laughs> I'm just saying, I think... You I mean, not some people are just not up. that jealous, you know, like they just don't care that much yeah, about I mean, like sharing sexual partners. Like it's not a big deal to them. Yeah. So we have had a, like a lot of clients that come through who are in open relationships and, mm-hmm. and marriages and it never works out. Yeah. Nobody's n- nobody. It's the beginning yeah, of the end. It's the beginning of the end. They usually also, always break up. Relationships don't work out. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's like, sure. That confirmation is true. Bias. That is true. But it that feels like it is the beginning. Like that is like the trial. Like we'll stay together. Maybe we won't. We'll figure it out. And then usually it. I mean, last oh, I heard, they were still doing it. I don't know. Well, I mean, uh, Good yeah. for them. I, I think yeah. what you're saying makes sense. But it's also like, I guess it's like, let's try something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's Spice let's it up a little bit. What about well, a little spanking thing. or something? Always, <laughs> you can always get There's divorced so later, though. Before, like, yeah, why not, not try like, this? Why would we go right there? There's so many other things. Like what? Like, your husband's already cheated on you a bunch. So basically, oh, well, like, based oh, well, on that then, story. Yeah. Right, at that point, you're either like, all right, we can either open the marriage or we can get a divorce. Like, that's what your options are. Right. And so... Another I feel like open marriage is a lot cheaper. Oh. You know what I mean? Like it's like I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, that's true. Cheaper to keep her? Or him? Che- che- cheaper to keep all of them. <laughs> Together. To keep many Together. people <laughs> under But think of the think of the lawyers you're hurting when you stay together this yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being Can't you just divorce on the internet now? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, There's a YouTube something. video for that for sure. <laughs> uh okay. Did you you did. You manic <laughs> I, panic, I, manic, I would, panic. Yeah, that's how yeah. we got on your uh, whole fucking. Yeah, your open marriage. Not my marriage. Somebody's marriage. Be, somebody's marriage. That's right. That so you were a left? side chick too. <laughs> it's very hurtful towards side chicks <laughs> who deserve respect and autonomy. Uh, all mm-hmm. of them except you. Or a side dude. I side would dude, marry people who realize it's over and shave their heads, and that it's okay, and just embrace it. But I am not going to because I have a weird shaped head, so I'm going to become a hat guy. I know a lot of hat guys. A lot of hat guys in comedy. Yeah. Because they're bald? Yeah, they're just like, they're okay. just holding on, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're just like... Hide it? Yeah. You know who I'm, I, I was proud of? Craig Taylor. He was a he was a hat guy for a while. He's like, yeah. you know what? Fuck it, man. I'm just... I don't have any more hair. But he still wears hats all the time, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he... he, he but he shaved that. Yes, he became... He'll wear a hat less now. You know nice. I mean? He'll yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Don't you feel like you don't notice somebody's bald if they just embrace it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. At some point, it's just like now you're just bald. Like you just accept that that's yeah, who they you are. Just move on. And it's not. Yeah, like it's you're not thinking like about their really every second of the day. Like, oh, you're bald. Yeah. It's, I don't know, man. I have like kind of a pinhead, so I think it would be bad. I don't. I don't think people. Well, the point is, yes, it might. It might not look as. Might look. Might not look ideal. But eventually, that'll just be who you are now. So people will just accept that that's who you are. You know what I mean? Like, people, like you might be thinking about it. You're going to be thinking about it way more than other everyone else around you is. Like, everyone's not going to be, like, spinning all day, like, Josh has got a pinhead. It's like, like, if you have... <laughs> like if you have well, maybe <laughs> it would be best not to go from <laughs> full-on hair Hold on. Are you saying that everybody's going to be sitting around calling me a pinhead? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Do it gradually yeah. so you could see who you are and where you need to stop. Mm. Yeah, like, just take a number two. Just shy a pinhead. It's like if somebody had know. long hair for like or like long hair for a while and then they cut off their hair, right? Yeah. Like 
after a while, you're gonna you're not gonna remember their long hair anymore. You're gonna remember them as a short haired person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it would be the same thing with going bald. It's like okay, now you're just bald. I think the saddest thing is I had a friend who was definitely going bald, but also had like a long hair ponytail, and I was like, oof, this is. Well, did you shave your head once, and that's how you know you're a pinhead? No, I can. Uh, my dad has a bit of a pinhead, and then like hereditary head. It's hereditary head, and like uh, a lady was feeling my head, and she's like, "Oh, you got like a sharp." I was like, "Oh boy." <laughs> so what I don't know, the, but I'm pretty sure. What about the back of your head? Do you have a flat spot? Mm. Like, uh, I don't mine know. is. Yeah, I a guess. little bit. Mine is a little bit too. I've so you gotta leave a little like extra corn. hair to make it look like your head's more shapely. My skull is a perfect cube. Perfect cube. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? The back of your head is flat. It's because your mother didn't pick you up enough out of the crib. Got to rotate you. Round as hell. Oh, that one hundred percent would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's like? What if it's like ground to a point? Like, what if it's like? (laughs) What does that mean about my mom? (laughs) Spin you around in a pencil sharpener. Um, Okay. Did you guys have a love? A love. What? Mary. Mary. Oh, oh, I forgot we're doing even. Forgot we're doing a game here. Sean (laughs) didn't go yet. Oh, Mary. Um, I like all of um. Uh, fucking Betty Draper's haircuts on Mad Men. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. She just had yeah. excellent hair like all the time. I, I can't so classic. Of, she just I don't know. She, her hair always looked great. I just I love it. I'll marry her. Who are you gonna? Me? Ma- yeah. Who are you gonna marry? The blunt cut. The blunt cut. What so consistent. <laughs> know just what to expect. W- just like one length, no layers. No layers. Oh, so yeah, stable. Like a, mm. like a bob kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. Anything George Clooney or Brad Pitt would wear, that's who I'd marry. So, okay. Anything. You know George that's... Clooney cuts his own hair with a flow bee? I don't, <laughs> I don't care what he does. <laughs> he said it in interviews. He's like, uh, I don't believe it. He probably doesn't, but <laughs> he, he said it, it, and I love that. He's like, oh, he's a fucking flow bee, dude. Thank he's you. one of those dudes who has get an enormous amount anymore? of space between this his is nose an older and interview? upper legs. Oh, all right. I was like, what was <laughs> this? But he also probably has the money to <laughs> keep up know. with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like yeah. he, does. he keeps them Imagine. in business alone oh, no. just to produce one he, per he, he, he probably year. knows like some old Italian Floby repairman, <laughs> and he pays him a lot of money to keep his Floby in good shape. Um, <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by the people at Floby. Yes, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> I was wondering if you made any money doing this. Sponsored by Clue. Is it not obviously a moneymaker? <laughs> okay, let's digs. play Mayor for a Day. Uh, okay. We're going to give you $10 million Oof. to do anything you want in New Haven. Um, no, qu- you know, no, uh, no alderman approval required. Oh, Nothing like nice. that. Wow. You can just do what you like. Yeah, no zoning boards getting in your way. Yeah. So $10 just, million, dollars, okay. what are you doing? $10 million. Yeah. Flobies for all. What do you got? Flobies for all. Um, Flobies in the classrooms. Uh, I don't know. I don't don't know try to win votes here. I'm not trying to win votes because we're not obviously going to public office. <laughs> not would, yet. Never. I Only if it. you're in opposition to Justin Elliker. No, <laughs> I think he's doing a great job. I think he's doing a solid B job. I think he is. A solid B? Yeah. Okay, what would make him an A? Flobies for all? Yeah, exactly. Flobies for all. Uh... More money from Yale, more job training programs, less, you know, catering to the rich. You think he people. caters to the rich? I don't That's think what? he does. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I can't even vote. Just about. the rich yeah. non-white people? Yeah, sure. That would be <laughs> we can't even, we can actually. <laughs> Do you have white guilt? What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, of course. You, why wouldn't you? You'd be insane to live in this world and not. Yeah. Plus, I combine it with the Jewish guilt. I heard this was so fun. Works out. <laughs> <laughs> you you are that? a downer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Josh Zone. For the Josh record, Dan and I do not live in New Haven, so we cannot vote in Wait, New Haven. Oh, wow. I, but it shouldn't but business you have a owners business. in the city I be allowed to? You have a, yeah, you have a vested interest. Also, you have a vested Sometimes an outsider's perspective is even more valuable. You yeah. know what I mean? Not in this case, yeah. but... <laughs> Connecticut's so small, it feels like we all live in New Haven. It's true. Yeah. Um, what million? are you doing with the money, Jenna? Um, yeah, we're really delaying. Yeah, so what am I? I know. Um, I I <laughs> would probably give more money into doing the storefronts over for mm. like a lot of these places. They are looking a little shabby. That's not like in this immediate area Can downtown. You give me an example of a shabby looking storefront. Our our storefront. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Which I is was, our responsibility. Which is our responsibility. So, yeah. Way to call yeah. ourselves yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so they okay. got that. You know. I think that ten million dollars put <laughs> it right, right in your into, business. <laughs> right into our business. No. That, Nobody's ever directly embezzled yeah. it before. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going to embezzle all the money. Great, love it. Yep. 
Honest answer. Appreciate that. Was that was good. I like yeah. yours. Thanks. It's better than mine. What's your What's yeah, your what answer? Yours? Um, I'm just gonna find a tall building, go up top, and throw it off. The money. Nine, nine million. It's yeah, gonna yeah. cost a million to organize to get up to the top of the building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to you know, I mean, I need to organize. I need it? wardrobe, and I need to be fed, and transportation, and. But elevator. the rest is being thrown off to the people. I like that. Right? Yeah. It's not power it's to the not people. Any worse than what's maybe you can use your YouTube. podcast to get to the people to let them know it's happening. Yeah, I would love to incite a riot with this podcast. <laughs> 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 I would love to be in hmm. charge of people being trampled. What size bills? Are you throwing hundreds? Are you throwing ones? Are you throwing twenties? Fifties? That's 50s. a good. That's a good medium. Yeah, right. Good, yeah. Everyone's going to get something good. Travis yeah. Scott over here. <laughs> Travis. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> touchy, touchy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty good. <laughs> right. That's not the worst. That is no. like uh, that's literally like well, from because, the first honest. Batman movie, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joker did that. Ten million dollars doesn't go afterwards. very far <laughs> when it runs through government. So mm. definitely. Oh yeah, doesn't. that's why we we yeah just the red tape never throw me a fucking dollar 50? bill. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever asked him? Yeah, he might I have. He's so nice. I he have. might. I've cornered him. I've cornered him. I mean, we could just do not you, a dollar. We could just do UBI. Did he Venmo you? Nope. No Venmo. Scumbag. That's right. Whoa. Whoa. He's, a good guy. he's a good guy. When? He's a good guy. Father. He's got a. He's got a love. He, I. He knows. Nobody's a scumbag. <laughs> he's got a good phobie. Like a hundred bucks <laughs> good each. Phobie. If you UBI it, you know. Yeah. A little less, like eighty bucks. I'm thinking tube technology for my ten mil. Yeah. Yeah. In what sense? Just tubes. <laughs> Pneumatic tubes, test tubes, what? Like Tommy what? Boy, you just put a thing. Whoosh. Yes, I always love like that. Like old school yeah. televisions. No, like the tubes we travel, that like we, we travel like by bank tubes. tubes. We we bank by tubes. Yeah, mm. mail we mail by tubes. I do miss the old banking tubes. Those are fun. Food yeah. delivery by tube. Everything. It's just yeah. Boom. I like just want to hear more of that. So I don't hear enough of that sound in my life. I don't. Dude. I don't think ten million is going to cut it. What if we pitch him and, and put water? It's going to be small scale. It's going to be one sector of the city. Yeah, like maybe my temp. household, maybe my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I can embezzle just like you can. <laughs> and then once, because that's how everything starts. You know, it's got to it's got to grow. People got to see that it's it's uh, viable. And then they're like, okay, I want some tubes in my. And then then I can get a, a big federal grant. And then we're getting billions to get tubes all over New Haven. <laughs> I love it. Tube Town. Sounds great. Also, heated streets. Yeah, I don't know if I have <laughs> Joe yeah, Biden might put it in his infrastructure plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah, with the other, more with, than with enough. With the, other ten, uh, with the other $8 million, I'll just <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> heated streets. Great. Like, so no more plows. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. That's why uh, he just hates plow guys. Yeah, I have, I have a thing. No one vendetta. Yeah, we. Uh, plow guys or, or plows like the plows or the truck or the time it takes to plow the street. I have. There is a cabal. Of plow guys who I have a, a long standing issue with. Like, yeah. we, we, it goes back. Uh -huh. um, I had a different, I had a plow company of my own. And Did you? We were a part of, um, it was a union of sorts, and I was kicked out, and it was contentious, and now I want I want death to all plow guys. I'm, That's okay. what the show Fargo is about, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> so, put them out of business. That's right. All right. Well, great job, everybody. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Jenna. Was that an hour? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. We oh, are, that was two we, hours. Yeah. That, that was like eternity. Easy. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do get another, something to eat another. and come back and do more. Yeah. We didn't even get it. I'm not, get into the nitty I'm, gritty. I'm not signing up to be bullied for any additional time. I'm going to go home and call my therapist. <laughs> and I'm going to go home and call my dad <laughs> if he could bully me also. I feel like we held back a little. We held back a lot. Yeah, it's not. This <laughs> <Wow>. was, <laughs> <laughs> I was operating at. 35 percent about the same yeah i yeah. could have really well I, that was it. all i could handle i honestly could have had you at 25 and would have been good <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much for coming thanks for uh, having us go thank check you. out hive hair studio you had a website uh the hive hair studio.com dot com wow big deal uh, biz. We who's, do? who's the best we do. Who's, yeah, the, we do. who's the best person to get a haircut from Anybody. Anyone. Mm, I like that. That's usually what I select, too, because it's the fastest. So. It's the fastest way to get in. Great. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and who is the place that you used to work at and hate? Mm-mm. Ah, oh, so cool. Mm -mm. Try it anyway. Yeah, yeah, you, we you never hate it. it. Yeah, we never hated it. You can't <laughs> hate it because it's what built you, mm. right? No, you can hate what built you, actually. It's pretty trauma. Yeah, abuse. it's like, that's... that's <laughs> That's Frankenstein's so monster's whole Someone's thing. Someone's got parental <laughs> issues. Seriously. 
Yeah. It's like his whole Have you ever deal. seen my comedy? Like, yeah. It's I, like, I, I have. I've never, I, I didn't actually know you were have. A oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to give you a hug. Like, you seem really sad. <laughs> Why does everybody always try to be hugging me? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. He didn't seem really sad. He was really sad. <laughs> yeah. Just like, it's I not an act. It's yeah. not I a, it's saw not him a... at the bar after. I kind of wanted to just pat him on the back. Tell him it's going to be okay. <laughs> Don't lie to me, Jenna. It's not going to be okay. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next time. Thank you, Sean. You're not welcome. God damn I'm it. I'm kidding. You're welcome. All right. And uh, everybody Good have a great time. time. And uh, check out High Parachute. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. Peace out. Busy people and lots of alleys, Worcester hipsters and fat up townies. We have more than pizza in common, with two rocks for bookends. New Haven, New Haven, New Haven, between two rocks. Ba da da da, ba da da da, ba da da da, ba da da da, ba da da da. Between two rocks.